welcome back to Walk, Talk and Learn French. We're here in Paris, in the underground this time. And I've just found a lovely sign again. Let's have a look at it. Pour votre sécurité, dès que le signal sonore retentit, ne montez plus. Okay, we've got the English and the Spanish and then if we're not going to bother about that. We're going to have a look at two things. Dès que, meaning as soon as. You can also say aussitôt que. Dès que, aussitôt que, as soon as. Okay, so this is Mark back in the studio and I'm going to interrupt Pierre Benoit there just to make sure we understand what this poster is all about. Pour votre sécurité, I'm sure you know what that means. It looks like for your security, but it would probably sound better to say for your safety in English. So for your safety, as soon as, well, as soon as what? The verb retentir means to ring or to ring out, and it's used for buzzers or bells or alarms. So le signal sonore is the buzzer used in the metro to tell people that the doors are about to close. Let's get back to dès que. As Pierre Benoit said, you may also hear aussitôt que. However, it's fair to say that aussitôt que is a bit less common. Let's consider some examples of dès que. Dès que l'été arrive, je porte un short tous les jours. As soon as summer arrives, I wear shorts or short trousers every day. So, we are talking here about what happens every year. As soon as there's the first hint that summer is here, I no longer wear long trousers. Dès que l'été arrive, je porte un short tous les jours. Another example could be, Dès que je me lève, je prends un café. As soon as I get up in the morning, I have a coffee. Again, we're not being specific here. We're not talking about this morning or tomorrow morning as soon as I get up. We're talking about the general situation. On a daily basis, I have a coffee as soon as I get up. We can also use dès que with more specific situations. Look at what happens here. In the phrase dès qu'elle est arrivée, and note the agreement of the past participle arrivé with an extra e, on a commencé à manger. Dès qu'elle est arrivée, on a commencé à manger. This means, as soon as she arrived, we started to eat. And incidentally, we can swap the order of the two parts of the sentence. So, on a commencé à manger dès qu'elle est arrivée is equally possible. Okay, let's get back to Pierre Benoit and see what we must do, or indeed what we must not do, when the buzzer sounds. And I quite like the next bit, which is Ne montez plus, ne plus, no more. Ne montez plus, you can't get on it anymore. So I'm coming in and we're going to listen to that buzzer. And when you hear that buzzer, you've got to be in. You can't go anymore on it. It's too late. C'est cool. Ne montez plus. So this section is fairly straightforward. When you have ne plus in French, it means no longer. For example, je ne veux plus venir. I no longer want to come. We could also translate this as I don't want to come anymore. You'll be familiar with ne pas, which is of course the basic negative in French. So je ne veux pas venir means I don't want to come. But je ne veux plus venir means I no longer want to come. I wanted to come previously, but now I don't want to come. Another example could be Il ne fume plus. Can you work out what this would mean? Il fume means he smokes. Il ne fume plus means he doesn't smoke anymore or he no longer smokes. So, dès que le signal sonore retentit, as soon as the buzzer sounds, Ne montez plus. So, monter is the command form of the verb monter, which is used to get on a train or to get on the underground train in this situation. So, ne montez plus. No longer get on the train. So, you've had your chance as soon as the signal sounds. 
you're no longer allowed to get on the train. Pour votre sécurité, dès que le signal sonore retentit, ne montez plus. Ok, back to Pierre Venoineau dans le métro de Paris. Super. See you again another time with Walk, Talk and Learn French. A plus! This podcast was brought to you by the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at www.radiolingua.com. Thank you.